newscast. All right, another news tonight. Police in College Hill cracking down on drivers who are not doing enough to keep students safe. That's right. That city is focusing on drivers who pass stop school buses. And so far this school year, they're making a difference. From the first time he opens these doors. They're the first ones you see of in the morning on their school day. You're the first ones that they speak to. To his last pickup of the day, Officer Brandon Allen. Not only am I a law enforcement officer, I'm also a school bus driver. Is on the lookout. When you're sitting in the driver's seat of the school bus, you're obviously up higher than most vehicles. This double duty officer says he's seen way too many close calls like this one. Video from Wisconsin shows an SUV passing a school bus narrowly missing a student crossing in front. College jail police say the problem is twofold. The vast majority of the people that we come in contact with um, for passing the school bus, they're not aware that they have to stop. Education and distraction. Whether they're texting, whether they're uh, talking to someone else on the phone. So far this year, 39 drivers in college jail have learned that lesson. Too late to avoid a ticket. They turn the flashers on, they put out the stop sign. But just just in time to save a life. Just be aware, use caution. Every time you see a bright yellow school bus, slow down. You can't predict what the child's going to do. One Tennessee lawmaker from Nashville wants to make passing a school bus a felony. He recently withdrew that bill, but his office says he plans to reintroduce it later 